What I love about this is this points back to the cross. If you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, it's the cross. Old Testament to New Testament, it deals with the cross. Salvation is the cross. Redemption is the cross. And the question is, what is, what is redemption? It is being brought back to your rightful position. What is justification? It is being reconciled with the God and the position that God has in, had in store for you. And what I love about this, this always brings me back to the point where I look at myself and God say, you're nothing without me. But in me, you can be more than what you ever thought. And that, that get me excited because it says in verse 3, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations. Because we know that tribulations work patience. Patience, hope. Patience, experience, and experience, hope. Why do you glory in tribulations? That baffles the mind. But when, you walk, when, you, when you're walking with God, there's something special about going through in it. Going through whatever with Jesus. Because you know it's not in you to overcome. It's not of you to overcome. But when you look to your right, look to your side, you know that it's a, it's a God there with you. And I love that because every day we're going through tribulations. Every day we're going through problems. But it teaches me to be patient. Look up because my redemption drew it. Now verse 6 says, And hope make it not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. When the Holy Ghost is in our lives, we look at things different. We look at problems different. Bills can't get paid. It's going to be all right because I serve a God who pays bills. I, I serve a God who, who heals. I serve a God who do miracles. So that's nothing. For when we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Ungodly as I am, Christ died and reclaimed me and redeemed me to a position where I don't understand why he loves me that much. But for something in me, he loves Verse 8 to 11 says, But God condemned his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now receive the atonement every time i think about these verses i remember what christ did on calvary for me he took what i deserve so i can get what he deserved he deserved continuous praise continuous glory i deserve sin i deserve everything that comes with sin including death why did he take that i still can't understand but i hope that i can make it to glory one day and I could sit at his feet and ask him, Jesus, why? Why? And he just opened his arms and showed me the holes and this is why. I love you. So God is asking us to have the same compassion, the same intensity of intimacy towards our fellow man saying, I love you because Christ died for you. I love you for no other reason but Christ died for you. And when I realize that I love you for that reason, I can love any man. Sad. Sad. It was important to the family. B. I only have one. You look just like yeah. her too. B. I got one. So if you practice, you can do no. it different on the no. other side no. too. There's no okay. practice. I've, I've, I've been doing it for 25 years. There's no, there's no practice. Huh? Can I, can I go like, I'm good like this, right? It's not bad, son. Your, your right side looks perfect. Except for the fact that it's not. <laughs> it's close, son. This is, this is good. Your right side is perfect. Kurt, focus dude. on me, dude. I see you. No. <laughs> I see you. Trust me. You're, you're my view. <laughs> I got you. 